While we're traveling to Tainan, let's test the ADAS feature in the BYD CO performance. Just like VinFast, this car does come with highway assist. How well does it work? Well, let's find out. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. To turn on the autopilot feature, there's a button on the steering wheel. It's right here, all right? By pressing this button right here, we can turn on the autopilot. And we can shorten the distance between the car in front of us or extend the distance by these two buttons right here. So this will shorten the distance while this will extend the distance. And finally, we can set the maximum speed of the cruise control here. So th this button, this, if we go up, it will increase the speed. And if we go down, then it will decrease the speed. Well, let's put it to the test. Well, first of all, let's get to the faster lane here. All right, now we turn on the autopilot. It is on. So technically, the BYD CO performance is driving itself. Look, mommy, no hands. But I do need to put my hand on the steering wheel uh, just because like any, any car, any electric car with a self-driving feature, it does require you to put your hands on the steering wheel, otherwise it's gonna complain and even deactivate the feature for you. So it's actually keeping a reasonable distance with the car in front of us. We do have a VinFast VF5 in the front of us and it's keeping really good distance. The BYD is keeping in the lane fairly well. So it's actually slowing down as the car in front of us is slowing down. I really have to put my hand on the steering wheel, otherwise it will complain. My foot is not on the pedal or on the brake. The car really is driving itself. And I could get distracted. So let's say if Miss Nock, who's handling the camera, you know, do something stupid, right? Like spilling the coffee over the car or whatever, then I, I, can, I can put into the autopilot, right? And, uh, and, and allow myself to get distracted just momentarily. I wouldn't 100% trust this feature with my life yet but uh you know it's a good safety feature if i need to be distracted just momentarily right so tell me a joke miss knock i have no idea what a joke oh, right he now. has no joke for me okay but that's that's what i mean like i can i can do this and the car just drive itself because i, I can get momentarily distracted oh i need to put my hands on the steering wheel so it actually works amazingly what i really want to see is if the car in front of us if it comes to a stop whether we would come to a stop. Uh, I think the traffic is coming to a stop in the front. And um, without any, any intervention, the car comes to a stop by itself because we're probably at a stoplight. We did not crash into the truck in front of us. And now we are going again and the car pick up speed and uh oh i need to put my hand on the wheel uh, because i did not put my hand on the wheel so the feature is now deactivated i do need to turn it back on again All right so there you have it adas self-driving feature in the byd co performance actually works really really good compared to vinfast it's nearly identical it's about the same level of, of uh, self-driving performance uh we're not seeing the the full self-driving like the Tesla, but uh, I would trust my life with the BYD CO Performance ADAS on a highway momentarily if, uh, if, if I need to get distracted. I, I think the feature of self-driving cars is very, very promising. One day maybe you don't need people to drive cars anymore and, and I don't need to drive cars anymore. Cars can just drive us to the destination. I don't know whether that's uh, an improvement or not, but that is certainly a promising big future to look forward to. Take some fucking action and look into the BYD self-driving feature and don't be a fucktard. Mm -hmm.